Hello, hello, McGill all. Zen Burrito is in today's to do list as I'm seeing, so we better get started with the video and show you how to get this blue piece of land. Let's go! To get this special vehicle you need to be on a mission called Trees Company, which is marked on a map as a B-ladder in downtown and can be found between the FIB and the IAA buildings. This cannot be done with a mission replay. To kick things off, this burrito is not special on Xbox 360 and PS3, and the reason is quite weird, confusing and silly actually. If you drive around burrito spawn hotspots on those platforms for a good 40-50 minutes, game suffers in sort of a memory overload and starts spawning burritos with livery and color combinations which normally shouldn't appear in traffic. This also includes blue color with the McGill Olsen livery. So if you play on Xbox 360 or PS3, do not get this fan in your save file. Other platforms don't have any issues. So what makes this burrito special is actually just the color and livery combination. Blue color itself is not special on the burrito model, but it can only spawn with the atomic livery in traffic. However, in this mission it spawns with McGill Olsen livery, so the combination is considered special. A little side note, in this mission the burrito will always spawn with an empty roof. It's not a special feature, but just mentioning it if you expect to get some cool roof equipment on it, cause you can't. Rest in peace cool roof equipment, you will be missed. Getting your hands on this van is pretty simple. If you work your way up quite to the end of the mission, you will surely notice this bright blue Spanish wrap from the distance, parked in the lot where you have to land your helicopter. Of course, this is the burrito we came here for. Instead, we want to land on the road nearby. You can block its doors with two random vehicles in the FIB lot and teleport inside by pressing enter vehicle. Drive away to fail and exit the mission. For some reason, in this case, teleporting into luck vehicles works even in the latest version. Mostly this glitch was removed with patch 1.28, but apparently it still works fine with all those vehicles in this FIB lot. I have no clue what makes them so different. If you want to save this to garage, it can actually fit into all the safe houses due to having nothing on the roof. However, bear in mind that if you give vehicles to other characters and immediately put them into safe houses, they won't become saved. You need to additionally switch to a character who is far away and back before you place the vehicle into safe house if it's taken from another character. This van can also be saved into interior garage, but you need to switch away and back to remove lock doors effect to correctly perform the glitch which allows storing it. I will show you now how to store it. For this trick, you of course need your big vehicle, a small vehicle which can enter the garage and a taxi. Try to place your vehicles the same way as shown here. The next part is complicated and requires precise timing. Press the button which activates the taxi side mission and immediately run into your small car before the dialogue ends. This trick might need being sort of familiar with what taxi dialogues sound like and turning on subtitles might help as well. Once in your small car, wait until the taxi dialogue is about to end and few microseconds before it does, press the enter garage button. If done correctly, you can exit the car after the dialogue ends, something you normally wouldn't be able to do. Right after you exit, try and run into your big vehicle as quickly as you can. If you fail, you can try this again, but I assure you, this is not an easy trick to pull off, and if you need further information, I have a video which is dedicated to that glitch specifically. This trick works with all three characters, however, it is a bit more tricky to do with Michael. For the end of this video, I would rate this vehicle easy to get. Not the worst method, but I honestly don't suggest getting this burrito, since there are missions like Eye in the Sky which can spawn many special burritos, including this blue one here, where it's also easy to get them and you can also choose any special combination you want, so better don't waste your time and space on this one here. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, you can let me know about this by hitting a like button and of course by subscribing. Also make sure to hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of my videos in the future.